and Edley know that John used to be fired and disbarred. Join the call. The National Lawyers Guild, World Can't Wait, Act Against Torture, Torture Survivors from Central America. There is a growing movement of people all across this country that is saying that John Yu should be fired and disbarred. It is completely unacceptable for a war criminal be to be teaching at UC Berkeley or anywhere in this country. He should be fired. You saw the pictures from Abu Ghraib. You saw the pictures from Guantanamo Bay. We are wearing orange. It is the orange is the color of resistance to torture. Thanks to John Yu, if George Bush declares someone to be an enemy combatant, the person can be snatched from their home in the middle of the night, thrown in a dungeon somewhere in the world, and tortured with no right to a lawyer and no habeas corpus. This is not about John Yu's academic freedom. This is about the gruesome reality of torture that bureaucrats pushing paper and professors sitting in offices help to facilitate. And I think the point is that when people start wearing these orange ribbons, when you know it's, it's a way for others to actually find you know, uh, commonality of community in their opposition and not be sort of isolated in their opposition. So I think that's you know, one of the one of the big aims of, of what we're trying to do out here. Again, it's not it's not to protest the graduation per se, but to, to draw attention and look. You know, you're getting a this is a day you're celebrating. You're getting a degree from a prestigious university, a university that also harbors a war criminal. You know? What would you like to see happen, with Johnny? Oh, I'd like to see him fired and disbarred. Okay. What do you think about the the whole idea of academic freedom in this case? Um, I think it's a real you know convenient cover for someone like John Yu, who, you know, because uh, on one on one hand, it is constitutionally, you know, wrong, these things that he's doing. Um, and the idea to hide behind, you know, free speech, um, this is not about, you know, just differing opinions. They're saying, you know, torture is a war crime, it's wrong. It's not like an opinion, you know, it's actually by Nuremberg standards, you know, these are war crimes. Much simpler and much more better. Bush's legal architect of torture. He wrote the justifications for all the torture being done by the United States around the war, war, war on terror. He's a tenured professor teaching the United States constitutional law here at Bolt Hall. He said that torture should only be defined as pain equivalent to complete organ failure, death, or psychological pain lasting months. And he is directly responsible for giving the president a legal basis to torture. Thanks. Uh, I just want to know. <laughs> I'm yeah. not coming here. That's fine. Yeah, excellent. Thank you for helping us fire right. and disbar John Yu, Bush's legal architect of torture, tenured professor here at Bolt Hall. I think it's it's successful in kind of getting the word out, and really, you know, showing that you know people aren't for this, and we're not going to take you know having a professor like this at UC Berkeley. It's a very prestigious school, and I think that it, it's time that.
The torture memos were brought to you straight from Bolt Hall, courtesy of John Yu, Bush's legal architect of torture, author of the torture memos, teaching United States constitutional law here at East Berkeley, Bolt Hall. To talk about the issue of uh, John Yu wasn't one of the deciders. Do you remember that part? Yeah, right. that, that's why he's not responsible. Right. If you read the National Lawyers Guild white paper that came out last week, it was it was very clearly explained the culpability of lawyers in providing the legal basis for torture. John Yu's role is strictly and clearly parallel to the uh, lawyers' case in Nuremberg. John Yu's tortures memo have resulted in so much harm to people and to the law. Shame on you and you see end torture. The world is waiting to know whether you stand with torture or against it. Do you care? Are you for torture? Yes. If you're an enemy of America, if you're a for torture, torture is a man. Torture is a crime. Torture is a crime. Torture is for beings. Torture is a crime. Whoever is engaged in torture is a criminal. Whoever accepts torture is a criminal. Did you learn about habeas corpus? Did you learn about it from John Yu? John Yu has helped to destroy habeas corpus. John Yu has helped to shred the Geneva Convention. The world is waiting for the Bolt Hall graduates of 2008 to say no to torture. Join with the people of the world and say no more war crimes. Stand up and take a look at the world you are going out into. Do something good with your law degree. Help stop the torture. If you want to walk by, then don't ask how those German people could have let fascism come. Because it came this way, step by step. Take the card, talk to us. Take a stand against torture. Think about what it means that John Yu is teaching constitutional law when he has helped to destroy habeas corpus, he has helped to shred the Geneva Conventions. John Yu is a war criminal and he did not dare to show up.